Pippa, back at badminton, how does it feel? Very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted to be back. Uh, sort of, you always think sort of in the build-up and things, but and I always long to bring this horse here. And you know, he it's no not hiding away from. He has had many setbacks with shoeing sort of issues and feet issues. But he's here, and, and I'm really excited to get stuck in there and have a go now. And how does he feel? He feels very well. He's, I would say, I've done gone very much back to the old regime of fitness. He's done so much hacking. I've first thing in the morning, he's two hour hacks every day. So, very old fashioned way of preparing him. I've I've tried, kept him off all the surfaces and and touch good touch wood. He feels in really good for really good form. And if anything, he just might be a bit too pleased to be out. Brilliant. So cool. So, fingers crossed. Mm. And uh, how special is badminton to you? Well, it's very special to me, but it's, it's actually really, yeah, it's obviously great to be here to witness the Battle of the Titans, because that's what it's going to be with those three, with Michael Young, William and Andrew. It's going to be a seriously exciting competition and great for the sport. But from a personal point of view, it's just lovely to be back and I'm drawn last, which I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing, but lots of long waiting. But I, I said to myself, if, it, if I get here, then I really want to enjoy it. And of course, I'm still, I'm still very competitive because it's in my nature to be competitive, but I just want to enjoy the week without any sort of pressure. And, and you mentioned the Battle of the Titans. Does that affect you at all in any way? It doesn't affect me in the slightest. <laughs> let, them, let them go to war. I'm out of that little battle. Um, no, it doesn't at all. I mean, from a Grand Slam point of view, keep, people keep on saying, what will it be like, you know, to, to if, if your you know, record's joined? And I wouldn't have a problem because, you're, you know, we're looking at two outstanding horsemen and... and the toughest thing, really, you want both Andrew and William to, to, to win it because they, they both deserve it. You know, they've been so high up in the sport for so many years and got a great team of horses. And it's just whether it's who's going to stop them from winning it. That will be interesting. But, or if they do win it, which one? Yeah. Fascinating. I can't wait. Um, and Pippa, at this stage, thoughts on the course? Um... Well, they've done a fantastic job again. It's it's big all the way. It's it's very interesting because I sort of was walking around very much with sort of through, looking through glasses of being back on a a very scopy horse. So so you sort of walk it with a different view, and and it's lovely to walk up to some of the big fences and not go, oh that is absolutely enormous because that's one thing redesigned have has is plenty of scope. But what he does lack obviously is recent mileage and recent form so hopefully he'll be switched on enough to the job but I think it's a, a good track I think it keeps you thinking to the end with particularly the corners um, on your way back home I think that's going to be testing it and hey badminton it could you know thick and fast and the bounce obviously is tricky in the wood at the beginning in Huntsman's Close so it you know you've got to jump it haven't you